Hello everyone. Welcome back and thank you for tuning in today. Whether you're a diehard football fan or just catching up on the latest sports drama, you're in the right place. Today we're diving into one of the hottest topics in the NFL right now. The Dallas Cowboys struggles this season. It's been a tough year for America's team, and Monday night's 34-10 loss to the Houston Texans was the latest chapter in what's shaping up to be a season to forget. Let's break it all down and figure out what's going wrong in Dallas and, more importantly, what might be next for this storied franchise. To say the Cowboys are struggling would be an understatement. Their record now stands at a bleak 3-7, with five consecutive losses, including an 0-5 record at home. For a franchise that prides itself on winning and high expectations, this season has been nothing short of disastrous. Monday's game against the Texans didn't just feel like another loss. It felt like rock bottom. The Cowboys were outplayed in nearly every aspect of the game, from the first whistle to the final buzzer. Head coach Mike McCarthy addressed the team's frustration after the game. His words were candid, perhaps even a bit raw. It's very frustrating. It's frustrating for everybody. Frustrating for players. Frustrating for coaches. I know it's disappointing for the fans. We have a lot of moving parts going on and we just have to be cleaner and more detailed in certain spots. McCarthy's tone reflects the larger issue. The Cowboys aren't just losing, they're losing badly, and they're doing so at home, where they've allowed an astonishing average of 37.4 points per game. Their negative 11 turnover margin at AT&T Stadium tells a grim story of a team that's failing to execute the fundamentals. But let's zoom out for a moment. What exactly is going wrong for the Cowboys this season? First, the injuries. Every NFL team deals with injuries, but Dallas has been hit particularly hard. Key players on both sides of the ball have missed time, creating gaps that have been hard to fill. Yet injuries alone don't explain the lack of competitiveness. Even when relatively healthy, the Cowboys have struggled to find consistency. Defensively, the Cowboys are a mess. Opposing teams seem to score at will, and the numbers back it up. The 37.4 points per game allowed at home is almost unheard of, and their inability to create turnovers has only added to the pressure on an already shaky unit. Monday's game against Houston was a prime example. The Texans, a team not known for their offensive firepower, sliced through the Cowboys' defense with ease. Missed assignments, poor tackling, and a lack of discipline were all on display and the Texans capitalized at every turn. Offensively, things aren't much better. Quarterback play has been inconsistent, the offensive line has struggled to protect, and the running game has lacked explosiveness. Wide receiver CeeDee Lamb summed it up best after Monday's loss. It sucks. It's not so much coping. It's moving on to the next one. Lamb's words reflect the mindset of a team trying to keep their heads above water. But moving on is easier said than done when the issues run this deep. The Cowboys' woes are even more glaring when you consider their competition within the NFC East. The Philadelphia Eagles look like one of the league's best teams, while the Washington Commanders and New York Giants are both enduring their own struggles. Yet Dallas's decline feels more pronounced because of the weight of expectations. This is a team with a storied history, a massive fan base, and a culture that demands excellence. Falling short is one thing. Falling apart is another. Now let's talk solutions. Is there a way for the Cowboys to salvage this season? It's a tough question to answer, especially with the playoffs now looking like a pipe dream. But there are steps they can take to build some momentum, and at the very least, end the season on a positive note. First, the defense has to find its identity. This means simplifying schemes, focusing on fundamentals like tackling and coverage, and creating opportunities for turnovers. Head coach Mike McCarthy emphasized the need to be cleaner and more detailed, and that starts with eliminating self-inflicted mistakes. Second, the offense needs to establish consistency. Injuries aside, the Cowboys need to figure out what works and stick to it, whether that's leaning on the run game, utilizing short, quick passes to build rhythm, or even shaking up the play calling. Something has to change. The talent is there but the execution has been lacking. Finally, leadership will be key. This includes not just the coaching staff, but also the players in the locker room. Veterans need to step up, set the tone, 
and ensure that the team stays united during this challenging stretch. Losing seasons can tear teams apart, but they can also serve as a foundation for future success if handled correctly. At the end of the day, the Cowboys are at a crossroads. This season may not be salvageable in terms of making the playoffs or contending for a championship, but it's an opportunity to lay the groundwork for next year. The road ahead won't be easy, but the path to improvement rarely is. All right, that's going to do it for today's discussion. If you enjoyed this breakdown and want to see more content like this, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. What do you think the Cowboys need to do to turn things around? Can they salvage this season? Or is it time to start thinking about the future? Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.